Hey YouTube, it's YouTube here. Tonight I'm making two separate meals from the same base. I am making, well first of all this is all going to be from the pantry because, well, there's some things I don't have. But I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese and then I'm going to make some tuna cheese casserole. And I'm going to do it all in the air fryer. First off, I'm going to get my noodles started. And I am cheating a little bit because I got one of these uh, it's like ball water, you know, the kettles of ball water. So, I'm going to cook my pasta in there first. And, like I said, I'm cheating because uh, even though this is going to go in the air fryer, it's already starting off with hotter water. So, so first things first, I'm going to grab myself some salt. I'm going to salt it really good. I think it should just pour it so I'm gonna use me some the mini uh, oh, shells because these things are great. And then you take whatever you want, however much you want to use. Okay, I got that all I'm gonna use because it, it's gonna expand quite a lot. And I'm one of those people that I can never measure this correctly. I always make extra, almost always. Hard, hard. Let's get that in there. Right. And then I am going to find my pot holder. Wait, unless this is. No, it's not. Well, it's a little warm. I babble a lot, I know. And I'm going to set this in here carefully because I don't want to make a mess. And I'm going to, at 400, and I'm going to check it in five minutes. Because I don't know if I've done pasta in this thing or not. But I don't want to overcook the heck out of the pasta. So I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to get my other stuff done. Just a regular can of tuna fish. I'm going to drain this out. And, uh, well, if you're like me, you dog will like it, so. And for the thing I am going to use sweet peas, I'm going to chop up some jalapenos. So I'm going to get that done, and I'll be right back. Alright, first five minutes is up. So I'm just going to give this a stir and see how it's coming. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take, so I'll just have to keep an eye on it. time I'm going to do about four minutes. So I'll be back in just a minute and we'll check that out. Back. Four minutes are up. So I'm going to check this again. Nice stir. Say probably another two minutes just should be done at 400. Because it is going to get baked a little bit afterwards. So I don't want it too bad. Too al dente. But I don't, and I don't want it too overcooked. We'll be right back. Okay. Two minutes is up. I'm going to check this. Hopefully, this will be the last time. That's where it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm not gonna make you watch this, but I'm gonna strain this. I just let it sit for a couple minutes while I got a couple other things done. First things first. Oops. There we go. I want to take. Okay, if, if you didn't see it there tonight, I made some garlic butter. And I'm gonna use a different pan. I forgot to take this out earlier so it's hard as a rock. I 
we want a little bit of that. gonna put it in here now we'll say 350 for I'm just gonna put this on two but I'm gonna keep checking it I don't I don't even think honestly it'll take that long so and that's what we're going to season up and put our, our plain Japanese peco in for the top because uh, let's face it peco are the best so white and crisp Hard to get into apparently. So we're just gonna, like I said, keep an eye on that. We got almost everything about. I don't know. I didn't, didn't drain my piece. Have almost everything ready. I have an extra uh, baking little baking pan, so I can do just some. Uh, straight up macaroni and cheese with it. I know pork. She knows there's two and a fish involved, so she's underneath me constant. So I have her food all made up. A little bit of dog food, some tuna fish juice, and a little bit of dehydrated pumpkin. All right, watch out. Sophia, no, baby, come on. Grab my pot holder. I'm gonna take a peek at this because I don't want it to burn. There we go. It's coming along nicely. I should be good because the residual heat should melt that last little chunk. should I think be about right. And then I'm gonna take Sophia, you gotta move. Sophia, come on baby. Sophia. A little not that much. A little granulated onion. Oregano, because, well, I love oregano. I'm going to use a little bit of paprika. And some my tricolored salt. Or, I mean, my <laughs> actually, it's the four pepper blend. Use a little bit of that. And then I'm going to use some salt. There we go. Now I'm going to hold on to this so I don't burn myself. I'm going to stir this up nicely. Try to get everything so it's covered in that butter. So it gets a nice little crisp on it. have to do this. Some people I've heard use chips, some people use crackers. Yeah, really, whatever you, you can break a little breadcrumbs if you want. You know, it's, that's up to you. That's all your call. Alright, now I'm gonna take this baby out and I'm gonna grab my, I'm just using jarred cheese because that's all I have. I don't have any more cheese left. I don't have cheese, so I'm using jarred cheese. I'll make sure I get as much water out of that as I can. Put that right in there. Check this up a little. Nope. Boy, I'm not very, very good luck tonight opening stuff. Holy moly. And I'm going to put 
pour some in there and just see how much I got. This is just like everything else. You pour how much you like in there. I am going to put a smidge more in here, and then, whoop, oh, that'll be alright, because I have other stuff that's going to go in here afterwards anyways. So, get that nice and mixed up, and then, actually, I think I'm going to do the smaller one, and I'm just going to take, oh, I should pour out of these ones, I should actually spray so they don't stick like mad. This will be better once I get everything in it. And then flatten it out nicely. All right. And then get everything out of the way so you can do things. Right. And then we take our panko breadcrumbs. And put a nice coating on the top. Just like that. Beautiful. See that? That's a... There we go. And now... You can actually also take a, just take little dibs of that butter, very small pieces, and you can put little bits on top. Not a lot, because you don't want this to be greasy. There we go, just like that. Now we are going to take this and throw it in here. And honestly, this shouldn't take more than just a couple minutes, because everything's heated through. We're going to put this on four, four minutes at 400, because all we're really doing is trying to get that crispy. Okay, so now we're working on this one. Okay, got that, and I'm going to take my shredded jalapenos and I guess my carrots and onions that didn't shred very well. Toss them in there. crap over the floor, but that's expected because, well, I do it all the time. Okay. Now, the one thing I do want to do is season this tuna fish first. And I'm going to, actually, you know what I'm going to use? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to use some smoke salt. Actually, I think I'm going to get a bigger bowl for that so I can, without making a giant mess. Make sure to use a bowl that I can fit in the uh, dishwasher so I don't have to clean up that much. There we go. I'm going to spread this out as much as I can because it is just a small bowl. And I'm going to grab myself some white pepper. This my smoke salt. Do this all it takes. Okay, now I'm gonna take me a little bit. I think I have some dill around. Yeah, there it is. A little bit of dill weed. There we go. That's what I'm gonna use for. Taste it like. About. I can taste that smoked salt and I like it. This goes back here. And that goes right in there. In my spoons up. No, wait, that's up. Okay. Now I'm gonna give this a nice mix up. 
because I don't want to break my peas up because uh, they're canned and okay. now I'm going to use a little bit more of this. To be honest, I don't know if this is good. Well, oh wait, this is the Pace. Yeah, I know this is a good brand. I bought some before. I'd never tried the brand because they were like a cheap no-name brand and uh, they were really good. I got it from Big Lots. It was a white queso, which I'd never tried before. Uh, oh, it was great. There we go. Stop. Nice. And I'm going to add a little bit more. There we go. That's it. And then if need be, put a little bit more on that one in there if you want. Right? That way. Get that all good and mixed up. Oh, and we take our peas and just whoop. mush ones on the bottom and I'm gonna just as carefully as I can without mushing too many kind of like fold them in almost I, you're never gonna save up a lot of them you know, not big on mushy peas all right now I'm just gonna flatten this out just like that Another stir. Oh, beautiful. I don't know if I want that much in there, but nah, screw it. Ain't gonna hurt none. Waste not want not. That might be too much once I start eating, yeah, but. butter on it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I have butter fingers tonight. There we go. It's the macaroni and cheese. Now this one. Do the same. It gets closer though, so I'm gonna use a little less heat. I'm going to just use 300, and I'm going to check in, say, four minutes. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. All right, time's about up. So I'm going to take this out and turn it around. Now, if um, you'd let this stuff set around longer so everything cooled down, you'd want to bake them a little bit longer. So everything's heated through, just like a regular casserole. We'll give that what four minutes. We'll check it again. All right, this is right where I want it. I uh, turned it up to 350 to give it an extra minute. And it's bubbling nicely. I think the brown on this one is right where I want it. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Quick, simple. Well, fairly cheap. So everybody, take it easy. Stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.